What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Solid Light. Now, this is a new uh, puzzle platformer, I want to say, and it revolves entirely around reflecting solid beams of light to move around and to uh, jump. Alright, I can, I can do that. Uh, whoa, can I double jump? Oh, I can jump off walls. Okay. So I'm guessing I need to get the light there. Mayhaps. Fall. Rotate mirror down. And... Okay. Uh, down. Oh, okay. I have to be right on it. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then I can use this to get back up. Okay, so... Ah, uh, no, 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 no. So it's only arrow keys. That's weird. I kind of like that, though. Alright, that looks like a little reflecty-do. What do we What do we have going on in here? So I have to... I have to keep holding down. Alright, there's... There's another... Reflector. So let's get up over here. Uh, restart, escape. Okay. Are you, are you telling me that I've already fucked up, game? Is that what's going on? Alright. Cool. And then we'll just meander on down th this way. And... Come here. And up over this. Yes. Glorious. That helps us get up this way. Um... And then let's rotate you around. What's going on up here? Ah! Do Wait, what? It needs to hit it from the top. Okay. But I can I can drop through the light. Okay. I thought that was going to block me off there for a second. All right. So let's grab you and push you back down to light you up. And voila! So... It might sound a little bit weird, but this is something that I do in my spare time. Is I, like, I'll pretend that a specific body part of mine has the ability to shoot lasers out of it. And then I'll, like, I'll see what surfaces in the nearby area I can bounce it off of and what would happen if I did that. It's a very strange pastime, but it, it manages to occupy my mind. Um, so this goes up here. And then... Uh, 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 yes. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Down. Up. And up. And up. And up. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. You got this. You got this, kiddo. All right. Yeah, so we want to... We want to... Uh, no! 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 <laughs> I just want to be up top. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Oh, the platforming's the hardest part of this puzzle game. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? Let's just ease our way over here now. All right. Yes. Got it? All right. And then we put this one here. And then we can use this to drop down, drop down, grab, turn you around to come straight across. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just, I'm just, I wanna, I wanna, uh, okay, we'll just come down this way. That's fine, that's completely fine. Okay, so I'm guessing up, over, over, yeah, okay. Down, so, is there another, is there another thing? Yep, there it is. All right, so we come up here, and then we come. Ah, uh, 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 oh, perfect. Oh no, no, no! Fuck you, fuck you. The the buttons to grab and to drop through are the same. Oh, there should be tiny little things underneath each each one of these that prevents you from from falling through. Oh god damn it! Oh god damn. Okay, okay, are we good? Let's drop. No, let's drop again. Let me out. Let me out of this hellhole. Okay, come on. What do we? What have we going on here? Seems like you come over, meow. 
So we can come over here, drop through, grab this, put it here, and then a boink, a boink, turn. What, are you coming in this way? Yep. Oh god. Oh no! I've done stuck myself, haven't I? Have I? Is that supposed to come down? Yep, I gotta restart. Okay, so let's just try coming straight down. Is this gonna be able to reach that one? Let's see. No, and it can't go through that either. And there, there doesn't seem to be anything else that we can interact with. Unless this can, like, go up the tubes. Oh, I didn't need to start over. I could have just dropped, dropped through the floor. Oh, god damn it. Well. Uh, not, not, not great, Cole. Not great. So this needs to come up here. And then... Okay, I can't even get through that. Okay. Um... What if I use this? create, like, a series of platforms to jump up. And then I'll take this to, like, a 45-degree angle. So then I can come back down here, around, up, over... Close enough. We got it. We got it. Nice. Okay. That one was a little different. We're, we're starting to use the, the mirrors as platforms instead of just, uh, like, entire mirrors are only used as platforms is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Okay. So we need to get you to the other side there. Oh shit. Do we have to do two of them? How do we do two? Is there like some sort of beam splitter? Fucking, fucking hell, man. Alright. Alright, so can we get around to that this way? No, I think I need to use this as a platform first. There it goes. Okay, so, nothing else over this way, so let's turn this so that it shines that way, and we'll come back down here. Is that going to be good enough? Yes? Okay, cool, but then how do we get up there to turn that one? Do I need to... Come back to this one. Oh! It stays on for a little bit. Interesting. That's gonna come into play later, isn't it? And then this one comes up like... That, maybe? It's kinda hard to estimate the angles in something that has, like, fixed rotation points like this. Fuck, what was that? Okay, not enough. Should be right about there. And then we bring it back. Bring it back around. Yeah! So now how do we get back up? Okay, so they're both on timers. Oh lordy lord. Alright. This is, this is getting kind of tough. Okay, so that one gives us a little bit of light there, and then, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a timed bit, so we push this over, jump up, jump up, 
jump up, jump over, and then use that to get over here, which will then give us the ability to grab this one, and, oh lordy lord. Ooh, I was not expecting these puzzles to get, uh, difficult so quickly. Okay. So what does this get us? Can I like... Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything in here. I don't think I can... Yeah, that ceiling's preventing me from jumping up that way. That doesn't seem to be a way out. My real question is like, how do I get back? I don't know how to get back. Um... Same thing, eh? Okay. Cool, but now that we're out here... Really, just like, without a light source... What does that do for us? I think the hardest part about all this is that, like, you can't see the entire map. So it, it's hard to, like... Pre-construct. Uh, an idea of what it is that you're supposed to be doing beforehand. So, like, what I'm thinking is that I have to do... Let me, let me see what else can happen here. I'm gonna grab you. Grab you. So that just reflects shit right back. And I don't even know how to go about, like, adjusting that one. Um, unless I come back over here, charge you up for a second, and then come back down, up, and over, so that I can adjust you up that way. Shit, dude. This is getting kind of frustrating. And a lot of that has to do with just, like, having to run back and do different things. And the pixel art isn't all that conducive to the idea that you have to get these angles right. So it almost feels like the art's interfering with it a little bit. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god. Oh, fuck it. Mostly because a lot of this... Uh, in ones where you don't already have access to the light beam, you really just have to estimate. And it, it becomes this, like, trial and error thing where... Uh, okay, we got that. And that unlocks the door. But if we take it off, then it starts a timer again. So, do I need to charge this up Put this over in such a way that it charges this one. Run back, make myself a platform. Okay, so I need to come up here, charge this one. Come over here, charge that one. Jump down, make myself a platform. There is no way that's the answer. There's no way. I don't know what to do here. I have no idea what to do here. And instead of spending an hour getting increasingly more frustrated and drawing out my <laughs> hatred for the game, I'm gonna leave this here. Um, I like some of the ideas going on here. The pixel art's nice, but like I said earlier, I think it actually interferes with the um, the gameplay a little bit because 
the the way pixel art works and the way that it moves in increments uh, can make it really, really difficult to tell the angles at which these mirrors are going to bounce things off at. And because of that, it adds an extra sense of trial and error to these mirrors, especially in ones that are on timers like this. The darkness is a nice touch, but at the same time, it almost feels like the game is intentionally hiding pieces of the puzzle from you to make them harder to solve. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that because in puzzle games, I like to be presented with every single piece of the puzzle immediately. And the only thing that ever holds me back from solving the puzzle is my own ineptitude, which in this situation seems to be the case because I can see most everything in here. Uh, unless there's something else up top that I just, I, this is, this is very much just a personal taste thing. I hate timing challenges. I really fucking hate timing challenges in games. Um, they feel like this, this isn't a criticism of this game alone. It's a criticism of, of timing challenges in game in gen, of games in general. Um, I never feel like they add much more than a sense of frustration to a game. Uh, this might just be me. You guys might love time attack games, but I feel like the challenge should be inherent to the mechanics and the situations that you're presented with. But when it becomes a sense of, oh, the game's not actually letting me have enough time to figure this out, uh, it, it becomes a, an extremely frustrating situation where I'm just like, okay, game, if you don't want me to play you, I'm not going to fucking play you. So this, this isn't a situation uh, limited to this game. It's just something I felt like bringing up due to what was in this game. Um, so I, I, I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do here because the, the only thing I could think of was to take... The, there needs to be something fixed about that, I will say. Uh, it seems like there needs to be something done with this. So that... Because that opens the door, right? But you can't... Can you just, like, jump up? No, there's not enough room. There's not enough room for the other side of the body to register that hitbox. Um, so I don't know if that's the answer. And I'm, let me, let me see if it is, but that means I'm going to have to do timing challenges to re-estimate the, uh, the angle at which, that, that's what I mean about the pixel art and the timing kind of working against the player, because I have to charge this up, then I have to come over here, I have to jump down, jump up, jump up, and then just to have enough time to try that out, um, come back down here and then see if my little my guesstimation worked so yeah I think that's intended that you can't jump up that no matter what um, so I have to leave this here I have no clue what to do here um, I think I think it's the timing challenges that killed this for me I as soon as I have to do trial and error shit on top of being timed I'm just like okay I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to dance this disco anymore. It's just it's not fun for me anymore. And uh, I like my games to be fun for me, which I'm not saying this wouldn't be fun for some of you. I'm sure some of you would absolutely love this, but personal preferences and all. But this has been solid light, solid light. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coldfire and I'll see you next time.